the magic brocade in a distant village in southern china there once lived a widow with her three sons to make ends meet she utilized her weaving skills crafting intricate designs of silver gold and silk into luxurious fabrics her talents were renowned as her creations depicted vivid scenes of flowers animals and birds that seemed to come to life within the fabric one day as she ventured to the market to sell her wares her fabric sold quickly intrigued by the offerings of other vendors she came across a portrait showcasing a beautiful house nestled next to rolling hills surrounded by breathtaking gardens enchanted by the scenes she decided to purchase it upon returning home she shared the picture with her sons while the two elder sons were happy to see it they were disappointed that she had spent money on the portrait instead of food however the youngest son filled with optimism encouraged his mother to weave a design for her next brocade as time passed the two elder sons grew increasingly disheartened as their mother seemingly produced nothing for sale to sustain the family they ventured into the mountains to chop wood leaving the responsibility of daily wood collection to the youngest son as days turned into weeks and months the two elder sons grew increasingly frustrated their mother seemed to have abandoned her weaving and they were forced to venture into the mountains to chop wood in order to sustain the family on the other hand the youngest son recognizing the importance of taking responsibility dedicated himself to collecting enough wood each day to ensure the family's survival after 3 long years the brocade was finally completed the widow rejoiced in her achievement but a sudden gust of wind whisked the brocade away disappearing into the distance devastated she implored her elder son to search for it during his month long quest he encountered a mysterious woman who revealed that fairies had taken the brocade due to its extraordinary beauty desiring a copy for themselves the woman provided a resolution to retrieve the brocade the eldest son had to take specific steps Firstly he had to knock out his two teeth and place them before a stone horse. Secondly the stone horse had to consume 10 pieces of fruit from a special tree. Thirdly someone had to take the horse to the flames of fire mountain and then across the icy sea. Lastly the son was warned against complaining during this arduous journey as any word of complaint would result in being lost forever. recognizing that the eldest son had no intention of embarking on the challenging journey the woman aware of his reluctance generously handed him a box of gold and suggested he return home home however driven by greed he chose not to return opting to live independently after 2 months of his absence the widow urged her other elder son to search for the lost brocade Following a month long quest he encountered the same mysterious woman who provided him the identical instructions like his brother he too received a box of gold but decided not to return home preferring a solitary life concerned and determined the youngest son pleaded with his mother to allow him to undertake the journey encountering the same woman he made the brave decision to embark on the arduous adventure Following the prescribed steps he broke his two teeth and placed them before the stone horse bringing it to life the horse then consumed 10 fruits from the special tree the youngest son mounted the horse and traveled to the lands of fairies overcoming the flames of fire mountain without uttering a single word of complaint crossing the icy sea with the horse he entered the land of fairies and requested the return of his mother's brocade The fairies having completed their copy instructed him to wait rest and graciously provided him with sustenance one fairy admired the brocade so much that she sewed herself into it dressed in red upon awakening the boy found no fairies around him but discovered the brocade beside him 
Returning to the old woman's stone house, he reclaimed the teeth from the horse and she presented him with a deer skin that facilitated his immediate return to his mother. Overjoyed, the widow welcomed back her precious brocade. Unfurling it outdoors, outdoors, the brocade miraculously came to life and they discovered a new home. The fairy who had sewed herself into the fabric also came to life. The younger son and the fairy lived happily ever after. In stark contrast, the two older sons squandered their gold, descending into lives of thievery and begging. Encountering the beautiful house in the hills, they realized it was their mother's home.